Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today I have a very exciting tutorial for you guys. Here I have the MacBook Air. And of course, this will apply to the MacBook Pro as well. It doesn't really matter the version, new or older devices, it should work, all right? So this tutorial has to do specifically with Safari. And what I'll be showing to do, guys, is how to clear your cookies and cache on Safari. All right, this is great in cases where um, small files, which are called cookies, or cache is left on your... Um, your device um, these cookies and cache um, help in terms of storing login information on a website it can also be used to store your um, basic information such as stuff you place into forms and websites and so on sometimes when a website is not working properly you can clear the cache and then log back in it will log you out once the cache is cleared so of course cache is very important but of course you may want to delete cache as it can also use to track you over the internet. All right, so you might in specific cases need to clear their cache or clear a specific cache for a particular website. All right, whatever the reason, I'm going to show you to find this in Safari, which is the default browser. So go ahead and find Safari. You'll find it um, usually down here on your um, the um, launch area down here. So go ahead and launch Safari. Once you do, it should open up like this. Notice as well, once it's here, where the window is like this, you'll have a bunch of options that's specific to um, Safari up here. So notice the menu. So notice the menu options up here. All right, so we're going to click on Safari at the top of the screen once it's in um, view. Once you do that, guys, go down to Preferences. All right, so go ahead and hit Preferences. Once you're in Preferences, guys, as seen here, you should be able to see the um, website banner as seen here. So let me just move this more into focus. All right, so once you're on your website banner, as seen here, guys, um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead. And what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the Privacy tab. So if you're on Security or whatever, go over to Privacy. Once you're here on Privacy tab, which is the um, symbol of the AND, you're going to go down here. Notice it says um, a bunch of options. These are the default ones. It says cookies and website data. You can um, check the box that says block all cookies. Not a good idea as websites do need cookies in order to operate. So you want to keep that in mind. But you can clear specific cookies. All right. So to do that, go ahead and um, select the option that's beneath there. That's called manage um, website data. Once you do it, it will start loading your um, data give it a little time notice it says loading right there i'm just going to give it some time all right guys so as you can see now it's loaded and these are my cookies now um it's a whole bunch of these from various websites um what you can do you can search for a specific website so, for example, if you had one in mind, search for a specific website that you want to delete, you can search the name right there and it will appear. All right. Um, you can select specific cookies. Notice it gives you the option here. This one is cache. This one is cache. This one says cache cookies and local storage and so on and so forth. All right. So what I'm going to do from here, um, you guys, is just go ahead. I could um, select one. And if you have a specific one, go ahead and hit um, remove. I don't want to do this right now. I'm just simply showing you. It will be removed once you hit remove. Or in um, other cases, you can actually scroll through and find them alphabetically. Or also, guys, you can just simply hit remove all. If you want to clear the entire browser cache, go ahead and hit remove all. Once you hit remove all, it's going to give you this warning at the top of the screen here. Let me see if I can move this down. And it does say, guys, um, are you sure you want to remove all data stored on the 306 displayed websites on your computer you can't undo this action so this is just a warning before you go ahead and do this so just in case you might want to be careful remember it will log you out of all websites I meaning if you're in amazon it will log you out if you have a shopping website or whatever it will just simply log you out so be mindful of this before um before doing this, you'll have to log back in. In my case, I'm not going to hit remove all. I'm just going to hit cancel. But in your case, go ahead and hit remove all. And once you do, it's going to clear all of the cache and so on. Once you're finished, go ahead and hit done. And once you clear this, you can go ahead and exit. All right. So that's how to clear the cache basically on your um, Safari website. 
or Safari browser. And in this way, guys, you'll clear all your cache or stored cookies on your uh, browser. If you have any questions, please ask them below. As always, guys, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.